ready. So um, I'm going to read one more poem to you today from our book, The Lost Words, which we've been talking about. And um, maybe you are making something to go along with our lens, Lost Words Make Along. I am working on um, a pair of socks, and I am excited to show those to you when I am done. But before I read this last poem in this book, um, I'm just gonna flip through and show some of the illustrations. So this is the illustration for Heather. This is Heron, which is a beautiful, beautiful bird. Look at that. I just think that that is stunning. I love the moon. I think this one's really gorgeous as well. Here's Kingfisher, which I don't think I've ever seen a Kingfisher in real life, but I would really like to. Recently in my backyard, I've been noticing Blue Jays, which they are very loud, but they're gorgeous. I really love the Blue Jays. And um, there are some hawks and um, uh, oh, I can't remember the name. It's another predatory uh, raptors. Would that be right? Hmm. Anyway, I sit out and I see lots of blue jays, lots of geese, um, hawks, um, and then there's a flock of wild turkeys that will follow the river that's kind of behind my house and they will walk through our yard. Um, there were about nine to 12 turkeys that walked through my yard on Thanksgiving day. <laughs> it was really fun. I took a bunch of pictures. Look at this picture. I would really like to see that in real life. That would be gorgeous. So the one that, that I'm gonna read to you today is otter. Did you know that otters hold hands with each other when they are sleeping so that they don't float away? Isn't that precious? So here is the picture of otter. And it is a, all of the poems, remember, are acrostic. So you take the word and you go down and then you're writing across to describe, to paint an image using language. Um, so this one is a little bit of a tongue twister. I'm going to do my best to read it without making mistakes. But if I make mistakes, that's what happens when we read. And I'm just going to correct myself and I apologize. Okay, here we go. Otter. Otter enters river without falter. What a supple slider out of holt and into water. This shape shifters a sheer breath taker, a sure heart stopper, but you'll only ever spot a shadow flutter, bubble skein, and never, almost never, actual otter. This swift swimmers a silver miner, with trout its oar, it bores each black pool deep and deeper, delves up current steep and steeper, turns the water inside out, then inside outer. Ever dreamed of being otter? That utter underwater thunder bolter, that shimmering twister. Run to the riverbank, otter dreamer. Slip your skin and change your matter. Pour your outer being into otter and enter now as otter without falter into water. It was fun to read. I hope it was fun to listen to. So I'm really excited to know what you guys are making for our make-along. Um, I'm hoping to see some maybe music. Is there any music that you could write or learn to play with your instrument that has to do with any of these lost words or with nature in general. I think that would be really fun and special. What about photography? Or does anyone know how to wood carve? I've always been very interested in wood carving. Um, fiber crafts, of course, painting. There's so many things that you could make. Um, and I hope that you're, you're, um, enjoying this little read aloud and enjoying the magic of these words and the magic that nature has to offer us. Um, and I hope that you're doing well. And I hope that you are 
healthy and happy reading. Thanks for joining me and listening to me ramble on each week. Be well, guys. Bye.